Hey guys, welcome back to my another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you that how we can use the combo box or a select an option box in Angular. And this video will not cover the uh, reactive forms and the template driven forms, but I'm just gonna show you straight that how we can use the uh, the select an option uh, that can bind with the ng model in Angular. And this video is also going to be really basic, and this is just for the people who is just going to start it or people who just wanna see that how this is done quickly. Then then this is for that video okay so let's begin so I will just grab the bootstrap link and this is my starter app uh, the boilerplate I'm gonna just gonna zoom this one and here is a code so I just grab the bootstrap so I'll just put the bootstrap link here and this is my the app.html page okay so I'm just gonna copy uh, the select and the option from the the layout I believe nope it's not in layout sorry it's in the forms here uh, on select here so I'll just grab this and I'm going to use it on here so I'm just going to show you how it looks like so it basically it's just the uh, the the select an option or, or the combo box okay so I'm gonna put this in a container basically it's a class in a bootstrap and I'm just gonna give some the margin top as a five so now it will show up here in the middle in the screen okay so everything looks good so far so let's see how we can bind this value from the angular uh, the component so basically we are in the HTML app the component of HTML so I'm just gonna go here and I'm just gonna create here the one variable which will have the uh, list of the food so I'll just put it as a dumpling here and I'm gonna put here the a burger or I'm gonna put here uh, pizza I guess so now we have a list of the food here but if you want to loop it up and show it in here then how we can show it it's pretty straightforward I'll just delete this option first I don't need I just need only one option so now it has only one option here so what we can do is just remove the selected as well I can do ng4 basically it's gonna loop it loop it my collection which is uh, food and it's gonna put it on the n which is going to be the the iterator here so in n so now it's going to show up every everything that's how we can use it but let's assume we want to bind this uh, to the uh, the variable here right something called selected okay selected and this selected is going to be string and we want to bind to the selected and if I print the selected now then I want to see anything because it's empty string field then we can use here with the ng model okay ng model and we can bind directly with the selected okay so if I save with the selected here then it's not going to sh show up maybe it will give you some error yeah it does give you some error here okay uh, so the oh basically I missed it here the first thing is so yep still it does give me the error the reason why is uh, to use an ng model we need to import some modules here so we will tell that import the form modules and we need to import the forms modules where our app component is using app component using on this app modules and that's why we import the form modules here okay so once we have imported everything uh, I did typo here as well I'll just save it and yep it show up here the first thing is show up as empty if i pick a dumpling pizza burger everything is working fine but if it's loaded the first time it shows up empty the reason behind is we don't have any the initial value here so if i change put that to burger then that works as well so this is easily how we can bind it the another case let's assume we have the the list of the object right we have the list of the object instead of the uh, the string area of the string we have the list of the object here such as oh, I, such as the description okay such as we have the dumpling and the description and we have the, the pizza here and the description and we want to bind as a burger also so let me change this to select it as a pizza so we have like this data here and we want to show it up here 
basically this guy is a looping loop as well when the food but in, in a loop here we just need to provide the, the name which we want to loop it up okay which we want to bind it up so if we loop and now in ng model it will bind the selected one so now is pizza if i pick the dumpling it will show up the dumpling so when i load it at the first time it shows the pizza because the same one the reason is the initial value is pizza we can change the initial value to burger as sorry dumpling as well so it's going to show up the dumpling so this is a really easy way that how we can bind the or select an option or, or the combo box in angular and this video is not covering with the uh, reactive forms and template driven this is just a straightforward how we can bind with the ng model and i hope you guys like it and learn something new and thank you very much for watching uh, this video guys and i'm gonna put some more programming tricks tips and any tutorials for a full stack dev applications and please do and like my videos and thank you very much guys for watching this bye for now